Hello students, let us continue the session on similar triangles. In the previous session, we had discussed exercise 6.1. We shall start with exercise 6.2 in this session. The 6.2 is all about statement type question. We need to state whether the statement is a right statement or a wrong statement with proper reasoning. The first question is, is the triangle with sides 25 cm, 5 cm and 24 cm is a right angle triangle? Give reason for your answer. Whenever the three sides are given, we need to find square of those three sides and we need to check whether it satisfies the Pythagoras theorem or not. 25 square is 625. 5 square is 25 and 24 square is 576. Here the larger side is 625 and this 625 is not equal to the sum of 25 added to 576 and I can write 625 not equal to 601. So it doesn't satisfy Pythagoras theorem or uh, by the converse of Pythagoras theorem we can say that this particular sides are not the sides of a right triangle. The sides are not the sides of right triangle. Second question, it is given that triangle DEF is similar to the triangle RPQ. Is it true to say that angle D equal to angle R, angle F equal to angle P and Y? Here triangle DEF is given similar to the triangle RPQ. It means that angle D will correspond to the angle R, angle E corresponds to angle P and angle F corresponds to angle Q. These are the corresponding angles. Here angle D is equal to angle R but angle F is not equal to angle P. Therefore, the statement is false. We can't say that angle F is equal to angle P. Question number 3. A and B are respectively the points on the sides PQ and PR of triangle PQR such that PQ is 12.5 cm, PA is 5 cm, BR is 6 cm, PB is 4 cm, is AB parallel to QR? Give reason for your answer. Let me draw a rough diagram representing the statement it's triangle PQR A and P they are the points on PQ and PR respectively and they are given the lengths the length of PA is 5 cm the length of PQ is 12.5 cm the length of BR is 6 cm the length of PB is 4 cm here I can find the length of AQ the length of AQ is PQ minus AP PQ is given as 
minus a p is 5 we get it as 7.5 let's take the ratio a p by a q a p by a q is 5 upon 7.5 2.52 times and 2.53 times we get 5 and 7.5 respectively. Let me find PB upon BR or BR. PB is 4 cm, BR is 6 cm. On simplification, it's divisible by 2. We get 2 by 3. Since we have AP by AQ equal to PB by BR. I can say that the side AB, the line segment AB is parallel to PQ. This is by converse of basic proportionality theorem or converse of Thales theorem. Next question, question number 4 in figure 6.4 BD and CE intersect each other at point P. Is triangle PBC similar to the triangle PDE? Just observe the triangle PBC and triangle PDE angle BPC is equal to the angle DPE the reason is they are vertically opposite angles and observe the ratio PB by PD is 5 upon 10 nothing but 1 by 2 and PC upon P is 6 by 12 again it's 1 by 2 so we have BP by PD is equal to PC by PE observe these two statements here from these two statements I can say that the triangle PBC sorry BPC is similar to the triangle DPE by SAS similarity so the corresponding B is to D P is to P, P is to P and C is to E. So this particular statement is a true statement. Question 5. In triangles PQR and MST angle P is 55 degree angle Q is 25 degree angle M 100 degree angle S 25 degree is triangle QPR similar to the triangle TSM let me draw a rough figure is triangle P Q R and triangle T S M angle Q is 25 degree and angle S yes is 25 degree so these are those two angles which are equal 
angle P is 55 degrees. It's 55. This one is 25. Angle M is 100 degree. We all know the angle sum property. Sum of the three interior angles of the triangle is 180 degree. By using angle sum property, angle R will become 180 minus the sum of 55 plus 25. 55 plus 25 is 80. So angle R becomes 100 degrees. Same way I can find out angle T. Angle T is 180 minus the sum of 100 plus 25. We get it as 55 degree. Just observe or compare angle Q and angle T. Are they equal? Angle Q is 25 degree and angle T is 55 degree. So angle Q is not equal to angle T. Observe angle P. Angle P is 55 degree and angle S. Angle S is 25 degree. Again, they are not equal. Angle P is not equal to angle S. Look at angle R. Angle R is 100 degrees and angle M is 100 degrees. So only this angle is equal. The rest of the two angles are not equal. Therefore, the triangles are not similar. So triangle QPR is not similar. How do we write? Not similar to triangle TSM. Instead, if we have QPR, this will be similar to triangle S T M. This statement would be true, not the previous. Question 6. Is the following statement true or false? Why? Two quadrilaterals are similar if their corresponding angles are equal. This statement is a false statement. What's the reason why it's a false statement? The two quadrilaterals will be similar if their corresponding angles as well as the sides are equal. Our angles must be equal and the sides must be proportional. Then only the statement the the triangle quadrilaterals will become similar. So let me mention that quadrilaterals will be similar if the first condition should be all angles or corresponding angles should be equal and the corresponding sides must be proportional. Both the conditions are to be satisfied to make the quadrilaterals similar. Next question. Two sides and the perimeter of one triangle are respectively three times the corresponding sides and perimeter of the other triangle are the two triangles similar why for uh, understanding this i would like to take a triangle with some example let the two sides of the triangle A, B, C, I'll consider are A, B equal to say 3 centimeter 
and AC equal to say 4 centimeter and perimeter perimeter means sum of the three sides AB plus BC plus CA 13 centimeter then I can find the remaining side when two sides are there it is 13 minus the sum 7 is the sum so 6 centimeter will be the third side if I consider one more triangle let another triangle be DEF in which the sides will be three times the side so it means DE is three times three which is nine centimeter DF is three times four which is twelve centimeter and the perimeter DE plus DF plus E of this will be three times of the perimeter 39 so I can find the remaining side E of will become 39 minus 12 added to 9 is 21 we get it as 18 centimeter observe if I consider the ratio AB by D will be 3 upon 9 which is 1 by 3 AC upon DF is 4 by 12 again it is 1 by 3 and AB by D which is 6 by 18 nothing but 1 by 3 all the ratios are equal here therefore by yes 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 a similarity I can say that the triangles are similar triangle ABC will be similar to the triangle DEF therefore the statement is a true statement hope with this example you must have understood it now statement 8 if in two triangles one of the acute angles of one triangle is equal to an acute angle of the other triangle can you say that the two triangles are similar and why <coughs> suppose if I consider two right triangles say right triangle ABC right angled at B and PQR right angled at Q these two angles are 90 degree according to the question one of the acute angle of one triangle is equal to the acute angle of the other triangle it means say angle C equal to angle R and what is given to us is angle B equal to angle Q both equal to 90 degree therefore if I consider the triangle ABC it will become similar to the triangle PQR by a, a similarity therefore this statement is a true statement question number nine the ratio of the corresponding altitudes of two similar triangles is three by five is it correct to say that their areas is in the ratio 6 by 5 and why we have learnt a concept that if two similar triangles are there the areas of those two similar triangles ratio will be equal to the square of the corresponding side here I will consider the two triangles with two altitudes say ABC is a triangle with the altitude D AD and PQR is another triangle with altitude PM according to the statement if two triangles are 
similar then the ratio of the areas will be equal to square of the corresponding sides as well as the altitudes as well as the angular bisectors so with that concept with that information i can say area of triangle abc upon the area of triangle pqr is equal to ad by pm whole square they have given the side of the altitude 3 by 5 so 3 by 5 square if i do we get it as 9 by 25 here this 9 by 25 is not equal to 6 by 5 therefore the statement is false Question number ten. D is a point on the side QR of triangle PQR such that PD is perpendicular to QR. Will it be correct to say that triangle PQD similar to triangle RPD? Let me draw a triangle PQR. PQR such that PD is perpendicular to QR. Here, the certain things you need to observe: the angle will become equal to 90 degree. PDQ and PDR they are equal to 90 degree, but then angle one. if i mention this as 1 and this as 2 is not equal to angle 2 if i consider angle q this is not equal to angle r therefore therefore the triangle pqd is not similar to the triangle prd they are not similar or it's not similar to rpd so the given statement is a false statement question number 11 in the figure 6.5 so i have not taken that figure however i'll just mention this it's the triangle A B C, in which angle C is given equal to this angle D. Can I say that triangle A D E is similar to the triangle A C B? If you observe the triangle A D C, is sorry A D E in triangle A D E and triangle A C B, we have got both angle a common angle a is common in both the triangles and it's given that angle d equal to angle c so by a a similarity i can state that the triangle ade is similar to the triangle acb so the given statement is a true statement Question number twelve. It's the last question of the exercise. Is it true to say that if in two triangles an angle of one triangle is equal to angle of another triangle, and two sides of one triangle are proportional to the two sides of the other triangle, then the triangles are similar? The reason. This statement is a false statement. The reason is here the A ratio of two sides of a triangle is equal to the ratio of corresponding two sides of another triangle. Although the one angle of one triangle 
is equal to one angle of another but not included angles of triangles proportional sides are equal no doubt they have given two sides they will their ratios will be equal but the angles which are mentioned are supposed to be the included angle it should satisfy yes yes here this angle is an included angle in this question the in the statement they have not mentioned that the angle is included or not with this question i have completed exercise 6.2 we shall start exercise 6.3 in the next session thank you